Hey there YouTube, I'm here to demonstrate an AHK script for DaVinci Resolve 16, especially for the new cut page. Um, I like the cut page's new speed, but however, the lack of keyboard shortcuts that are integrated currently just make it it's not worthwhile for me as of the current state without shelling out $1,025 for the editor's keyboard. So I decided to actually create an auto hotkey script, which will uh, give me the keyboard shortcuts I grew to know and love on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve 16 and 15. So as you can see here, um, this looks like your standard cut page, and when you play through it, it'll play through relatively standardly. However, I do have keyboard shortcuts such as Shift will append your clip to your playhead, which doesn't sound like it will do much. However, let's say you use the default arrow keys within DaVinci Resolve to snap to an edit point and you hit Shift, all of a sudden you get this brilliant cutting menu. What I've implemented is um, I can use Q and E to control the front clip, um, the cut point on that, and A and D to control the cut point on the other clip. Um, it's relatively simple. In addition, I have added an append, um, append end of clip to playhead. Hit, I hit W there, it deleted the remainder of the clip, um, essentially rene removing the need to scrub through the footage before editing it into a sequence makes the edit sequence a lot more fluid. In addition, you can do the same thing in reverse by hitting S. You can, if you hit S, it just does the exact same thing, but it cuts the end of the clip off instead. Um, a note to be said is, since it is performing two separate actions, you do have to hit the um, Control Z twice to change the actions of this. Um, since I'm showing this to you, I might as well show you how it works. It's a relatively simple script early in development. Um, few new features will be added later, um, but as you can see, um, it checks to see if the um, DaVinci Resolve 16 is open, and then if it is, it will um, give you the key promptings, um, and it will get the pixel color actually of the of DaVinci Res of the cut window right here. So essentially, if you have the color window open, if I hit Q and E, all of a sudden my my mouse doesn't move. However, from the cut page, and I hit Q and E, my mouse moves. Um, this causes it to, this makes it so you don't have to lose key functionality when you're in other programs or even outside of just the cut page. Um, so, as you can see, we have all our standard keyboard shortcuts, um, essentially just getting the window and comparing the pixel color and then doing, operating whichever command I'd want to. I'll um, upload this probably to like a Google Doc in the description. In addition, we've implemented a left control feature. Um, this will just allow you to auto-select the um, timeline versus having to s select a certain clip. So it just will remove your selection from the current clips. Besides anything else, that's about it. This is, of course, version 1 of the script. It is not very feature-packed. I'm looking to admit, hoping to have some media management and transition dealings within um, the script relatively soon. I can definitely, I'll definitely be able to implement a... Um, script that just, you know, crossfades quite simply. Um, not that anyone uses crossfade, crossfades, but... And, of course, dealing with these um, smart inserts and all of these um, other commands. In another beta version of the script I've developed, I have actually turned on motion stabilization, but it just seemed to be such a niche, um, niche implementation that I've decided to nix it for this build. Either way, that's about it. Um, I'll decide I'll keep posting um, you guys all on this script it's, it's definitely sped up my editing a fair bit and I hope it does the same for you